A lot of palette controls work very similar to another. In this video, we'll focus on the layout and borders palettes to cover most of the different types of controls. Let's look at the layout palette of a horizontal layout. The top area is for changing the number of blocks horizontally and vertically. You can use the arrow buttons to change the numbers. You can also double click on the number to highlight it and type a new number. Press the keyboard tab key to move the selection to the vertical box and type a new number there as well. The next section lets you change the block dimensions. This section has a slider bar for changing the size. Put a check in, keep width and height equal, if you'd like. With that option checked, you can move the slider bar left and right to adjust the size of the block. You can also click on the line to the left and right of the bar, or you can highlight the numbers in the box and type new numbers, tabbing to the next input field. The border controls work the same way. You can use the arrows, type the new number, and adjust the slider bars. Did you notice when you adjusted the slider that the numbers jumped in a quarter inch increments? If you'd like that number to be in smaller increments, open the quilt work table options by clicking this gear here. Choose snap settings on the left and here you'll see the option for the palette sliders nudge settings. Drop this menu down and choose a different increment. Click OK and the next time you adjust the sliders in the layout and borders palette, they will jump by the new increment. If you're on the block work table, you can click on the gear to adjust the slider increments for the block work table palettes as well. Click on display and under nudge settings, change the option here and click OK.